have strange ideas about science. I mean, it's sort of intimidating. And one of the things that is really useful about this kind of open days is that they can see what we do, they can see the people that do it. We've tried to make it interactive um, and provided quite a few analogies. By using like fun things, they would be able to like explain to children. They use like quite a lot of pictures and I think that it's really good for like small kids to understand. Most kids like learn things through looking at them. It was really easy for me to understand once I saw it on a computer. I really, really enjoy some of the questions that children have made. You get all ages and you get people interested at different levels. The worms and the pig's lung, they were fun. Yeah, I think it's fantastic for, for kids to get them involved and get them excited. Um, my daughter was really scared about human remains, but she was fine with the lungs. So in the lab in school in the future, she probably won't mind doing that kind of research. Yeah, I think it's both having kids into laboratories, but also being able to reach out to them in their schools, particularly when they're young, to really pick up on the interest they've got in exploring everything. So I think any opportunity to engage with children is, uh, is a really good thing. We've tried to make it interactive. Um, I noticed a lot of kids playing on the snakes and ladders game in neurobiology. You can make all sorts of things. The dining workshop had pom-poms and bits of felt to make dining motors. A lot of kids were quite happy to look around the labs and see, oh wow, this is where it all happens. I've enjoyed looking around this place and I've had a pretty fun time. We've been to a couple of the lectures and we've been into a couple of the labs to see the experimental work that's going on in there, which is very, very interesting. I really like doing the worm balloons and the pipetting experiments. I've mashed up a banana to see its DNA and we also made a DNA out of Lego. Even in the lectures actually, the youngest member of the audience who was about five years old was able to guess the diffraction pattern of a horizontal slit, so that was pretty impressive. Also, they can ask almost anything, so it gives a very direct and open interaction, and I think that breaks the barriers. And hopefully we'll get children interested and then they can become scientists. I've just enjoyed being in labs. I've, I'm so not a scientist, and I would be too scared usually to go in a science lab at school. They're so interesting and there's so much going on, and the excitement of all the people working in the labs and the, the research that they're doing is brilliant. And also, seeing the actual facilities always helps because they understand how we actually get from A to B to C to D. And I think we're quite lucky here because not only we have a lot of diverse science going on, but we have really good facilities and big machines. So that immediately engaged people. I think it's really good to see what's going on at the kind of the cutting edge of science and development. I mean, being able to see how much work is going on is fascinating and uh, very encouraging. We do basic science, but we also are training institutes and we have about a hundred students. The idea is that we will train the scientists that would be leading the science of the future. Those are usually the most creative people <laughs> that we have, so it's a fantastic opportunity for us to train more scientists, but also to get their fresh ideas. I'm really interested in science, so I thought it would be fun to like come here and learn new stuff. Both my children love science at school, so I just thought I'd bring them along to try and get them engaged in science. I think talking to the people that work here has been really great, and finding out why they got into science and what passions that they've got. That is one of the essential parts of a research laboratory, that you get interactions from people at all levels of their careers. I think things like this are really good because it's easier to sort of get interested in something as you're young. You retain more information, you sort of like grow up with it. So yeah, this is how it starts, I guess. Ultimately, we're funded by the Medical Research Council. This is taxpayers' money, so people contributing to our research should understand why it's so important, why it should continue. As an appreciation of general science as well, the more you understand, the more you appreciate, the more you're happy to fund. Obviously, without the taxpayers' money, this research wouldn't be possible, so it's almost like our civic duty to show people why we do what we do. I think also that some of the activities are really, really cool, so I, I look forward to have some time and, and see if I can do some. There are just so many great things happening here that the only way you can fully appreciate science is if you see it firsthand.